not null constant is basically used to ensure that a column cannot have a null value. So let's see what is not null. So let's say we have a database amid DB. Let's enter the database, use amid DB, semicolon press enter. Database test, we have entered. Now let's create a table and for one of the fields, let us set it to not null. So to create a table, I hope you know we use create table, table name. Let's say our table name is employee. Create table employee, brackets, press enter. So the first column we'll be adding is employee ID, that is EMP ID. Let's set it to in type and not null because obviously an ID cannot be null. So a not null constraint enforces a column to never accept null values. After setting this, after creating this table, you won't be able to enter null values for EMP ID column. If you'll add it, there will be an error. Let's add the second column. First name. Wirecare, let's give wirecare type, comma, press enter, last name. Let's give it to wirecare type again because it's a string, last name also, like first name, comma, press enter, EMP age, let's give it int and press enter. Now bracket, semicolon and press enter again. Now you can see query yoke is visible, that means we have successfully created employee table. Let's check the structure DSC space table name that is DSC space employee semicolon press enter. Now the structure of the table is visible in the entire table. We have four columns and only employee ID is not null. As you can see null means no that means we have created employee ID field as not null which is int. So now let's try to insert some records. I hope you know that insert into table name is used to insert records in a table. Now under bracket set each field one by one. EMP ID first name, last name and and EMPH bracket press enter. Values write values and one by one enter the values that is insert the values for the table. Here initially we will insert the first row records. For EMP ID, let's set null and we will see later what will happen because we have set the constant as not null. For first name, let's set Jack and we are using single quotes because it's a text field. It's a string. Last name, let's set Sparrow. Then going further, employee age, let's set 25 and that's it. Semicolon and we will now press enter. On pressing enter, you can see column EMP ID cannot be null. So this is the error coming. Why? Because we have set EMP ID as not null. So this is the use of this constraint. Now let's set the values again. Insert into employees, press enter. Now set the values again. And now I'll set not null values to remove this error. EMP ID, let's say one. Jack. Paro. 25 that's it now press enter query okay one row affected that means we have successfully entered the id which is not null now let's see the records select star from employee i hope you know that to get all the records from the table we use select star then from and then at the end the table name which is employee right now we added only a single record here so the same will be visible semicolon press enter on pressing enter you can see we have successfully inserted a single record in our employee table and this is not null. 